practice, games, timeouts, mm -hmm. locker rooms, a few discussions amongst players. Every now and then. We, we had some strong personalities. That 07 Warriors team definitely had some strong personalities the years after that. And looming free agency or guys wanting to be there or not wanting to be there or feeling a certain way about the coaches doesn't help. And you just try to talk it out. You honestly just try to talk it out, try to reason with each other, see if you can squash this thing. And I really think this is what Draymond and KD are going to do. I think for Draymond, even if he's boiling right now still, he's going to step back, look at this thing big picture, and go, it's not worth it to keep fighting this and risk this lingering the rest of the season on into the summer and have it affect KD's huge decision on free agency, whether he wants to leave or stay. It, it's just not worth it. They want to win a championship. These are boys, too. Yeah. They got their little dap thing, and I think they'll talk it out and figure this thing out and squash it. Do you think they'll go one-on-one? -on -one? Do you think somebody will be a mediator, a player, a yeah, coach? I think, I think Steph will probably – talk to him and you obviously got Andre Godala, the voice of reason you got grown men like Sean Livingston so they'll reason this thing out but what do you think as a coach you do in this situation how do you approach Draymond Green maybe after you've suspended him for a game or if you're the GM how do you talk to him in this situation we're family yeah and uh, we have guidelines we live by and sometimes we step over the line mm -hmm. and uh, as a coach like a parent you you don't want to have to discipline your kids or your players uh, you want them to go out there and have a great experience but sometimes the emotions get involved and then you gotta you gotta act yeah and uh, there's got to be a respect for my position and your position yeah action reaction and uh, yeah. I, I, I believe that it'll be handled smoothly by everybody involved. Uh, you know, I, I got a lot of examples throughout my career involved as an assistant coach, as a head coach, uh, as a GM, all kinds of things uh, yeah. with verbal and also fisticuffs. Definitely. And Definitely. Uh, back in those days, not alone uh, the tech world we have, we didn't have phones back then. So <laughs> stuff that run then you didn't even know about. Yeah. It, it was amazing what went on back then. Yeah. So, so tell me if you agree with this. Just back to the basketball for a second. And, Pop, I'm going to ask you this question, too. I feel like the reason Draymond kind of did what he did in that situation and made that mistake was the play before. Remember, he's talked to Kevin Durant about his shot selection before. That's been yeah. the source of disagreement. KD takes a quick shot, trying to go two for one, contested shot. I would have probably loved to see him just play it straight up and take their time, score, put the pressure back on the Clippers because they were tied, score. Now you just go trust your defense. So if you take a good shot, you wait and take a good shot, and then you stop them, you go and win the game. So I think maybe Draymond was still maybe mad about that, and when he got the ball with six seconds to go, he was still thinking about that. He's like, you know what, I'm not going to give you the ball. I don't like what you did the play before. Do you think that could be the case? No, nobody's a brighter basketball player than Draymond. Yeah. Yeah, so he's analyzing every play. Right. But, uh, hey, you know, that guy Curry, if he was around, he would have eliminated all this because he would have had the ball and he would have taken the shot. Yeah. Or how about the coach calling timeout? Or how about advancing the ball quickly and I got Thompson on this wing and I got Durant? Draymond didn't want to shoot. Yeah. He wanted to give it to one of those guys to shoot. Yeah. A lot of different things could have happened. A lot of Papa. stuff.